Welcome to another Informatica video knowledge base session. Today we're going to be talking about using PGP encryption for local file transfers. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the certificates for PGP and how you can use it to protect files in certain directories. Uh, and then I'm going to show you it in action. You have a PGP certificate and you're going to be moving uh, partner files. And then you're going to be decrypted uh, when you copy the files and then when you take those files from a certain directory and you pass them to another directory, you're going to show, I'm going to show you that they're going to be decrypted. So let's start. So you have here the copy command. Uh, we have local commands. This is basically what we're going to mainly use to move files that we get from certain inboxes and we're going to keep them encrypted. First I'm going to show you the demo and then I'm going to show you how everything's set up. So to give you a background, this is the current directory. This is the inbox. I have an encrypt directory, encrypt. Um, currently, VL transfers has looks like the one here, and then I also have an outbox. I'm going to remove that for you. Here we go. Copy the file as I showed you. Doing more encrypt, transfers like that. Now you can see that this thing's completely encrypted. If I wanted to delete it from the current directory, I would do an L copy dash delete. But I'm not doing that. Um, but I also have this decrypt command here. L copy moving it from the inbox encrypt to the outbox directory. So here we go. Going to run it. And I'm going to show you that it's been changed. So currently I'm in the inbox directory, outbox directory, cat, outbox, transfers.dat. And you can see that this thing's been reconstituted from where it was before. So that's just a brief demo. The way everything works is it's done through the VL Trader the Certificate Manager. Um, you package things using Open PGP, um, and you have to create the certificates in such a way that everything will work the way that you expect it to work. Uh, in my case, I use a self-signed certificate, and then I imported it with uh, with the public key. So I'll just cover that process briefly here. So you've got the certificate manager here. What I did first is I generated a self-signed user certificate as I have right here. So I'll just show you the graphical user interface. It looks like this. I will generate a private key. I will put in a password. And then I will then export the open PGP keys here. And it'll be called pfang.asc. And the next step I do is I will import that into this root thing. So it becomes here. Now it's known as pfang underscore pub. The way I do that is here generate trusted CA certificate from open PGP key. Certs. 
and this thing is the pfeng.asc, so I would put this here because this is what I would have exported. And what happens is that it shows up here, and then it can be used for these purposes. Um, and that's pretty much the steps that you take for this um, to get everything to work. Uh, the key parts here are this pfang pub. When it gets imported in the public trusted one, it becomes pfang pub and hitting the decrypt and the encrypt in the right areas. This is the original certificate. It's, it's pfang, the one that I self-signed in the first certificate manager and, the, and put in the password here. And then basically separate any or decrypt operations from your encrypt operations because you can only choose one. So you see this is for the encrypt. Uh, so thank you for listening. If you have any questions, you can move on to the next, uh, next slide. And here are some KB articles uh, you can use to take a look at using search security certificates, encryption algorithms, and you can also use the further the documentation. Uh, thank you for your time. Please send feedback to support videos at Informatica and check our Twitter feed. Thank you. Bye-bye.